In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to create a floor in your project on Snaptrude. To begin, let's activate one of the Draw tools from the Design tab. We'll use the Line tool first. Next, choose Floor from the Object Type and select the floor type that you wish to create. You can adjust the floor thickness using this slider or manually input the value. Then select one of the Draw modes. Let's start by choosing the Freeform Draw mode and begin sketching out your floor. Upon creation, the floor will be labeled as Default. However, you can rename it by double-clicking on the label. In the Object Properties panel of this floor, you can make changes using the drop-down menu. You also have the option to modify the floor thickness here. Let's now explore creating floors using the Offset mode. Start by selecting one of the Offset mode. For instance, choose the External mode. Enter the width of the floor that you wish to create. Depending on your requirement, you can make your geometry continuous or discontinuous. Start sketching out your floor outline in this way and press Enter to complete the sketch. The floor will then be created. Here's a pro tip. You can use the offset mode to create rectangle floors as well. For instance, adjust the offset width, and then use your offset mode as a rectangle tool. You can also employ other editing tools in the 2D view to modify the floors that you have created. For instance, add a vertex on this floor edge and then push-pull to further edit it. This allows you to quickly and easily create floors in your projects. You can also use any of the design tools available in the 3D view within the Design tab to make any necessary adjustments to the floor or add materials on it for further detailing. This way, you can create and edit floors on Snaptrude.